Judging from your looks, there wasn't much running involved, it will be though. Interesting to see just how the so you're a druid. So you're a druid. Aren't you always busy cutting mistletoe and brewing magic potions? Nonsense. That was back in the old days. Nowadays we need more action if we want to recruit new members. A little cat and bear shape change action if you get my drift. I can't really say that I understand, no. <laughs> right. Ooh, you can do potions. Could you make us a magic potion? I don't think so. Children oh. always fall into it so quickly. Asterix and Obelix reference? The electric That's the only thing I could think of there. So, are you voting for Gwendolyn or against her? That's as secret as my numbered account. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. I only hope the press gets a few good pictures. Uh, yeah, let's go. go. Bye. Us, and we can continue doing uh, entrance. Leave the council chamber. Go to the entrance, I guess. Ooh, there's whoa, 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 whoa! There's a lot more stuff on the screen. The Frog Prince. He ruled the country wisely until the day he ran into a Medusa. Ah, yes, good old Casanova. It would have been better for him if he hadn't cast an eye on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really, really profound laugh there. A small statue of a frog. Poor prince. Uh, the other ring. Wow, that's the one ring. What was it called again? The other ring? Right, exactly. It makes everyone around invisible to the wearer. Sometimes <laughs> I wonder just who makes this stuff. Yeah, exactly. Who makes that? <laughs> oh, that's great. A pile of mattresses. What's that doing here? They're probably handed out to any visitors who actually try to follow the political debates here. <laughs> oh, I like this place. Mattresses formerly belonging to Prince Rolf on the raspberry. I think it would be better if I just keep all those nasty comments that just occurred to me to myself. Empty showcase. Empty showcase. Hmm. Here it says the tyrant's clothes. Ah, do you know what they mean? Hmm. What can I say? My grandfather Alistair Seville was a nudist. That's true. They mentioned that before. That's I don't know. Creative, at least. Can't say anything about that. But that's my beloved scepter. How the hell did that get here? Well, I guess it's displayed here in the museum because you're not the king anymore. Disgusting museum toadies. Steal anything that's not nailed down, they do. Sure, let's read the sign. Scepter. Symbol of the vertically challenged tyrant's repression? Now those stinking, good-natured, stupid, brazen, despicable people. Just you wait until I regain power. Hey, Seville, here it says the showcase is made of indestructible glass. I think you're going to have to wait to get your scepter back. <laughs> stupid glass, just stupid. Damned museum, my revenge will be terrible. All going to pay. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a solution for that glass problem there. Just go to Flotsam Island and uh, go talk to the glass blower. I'm sure you can uh, conjure up something that will break uh, indestructible glass. I don't know. What do they call it? Encasing? I mean, you can do it for a bottle, so I'm sure you can do it for that. I can't even remember ah, the guy's name, though. The door is stuck. I think oh, the head no of the way. council mentioned something earlier about being able to open the door with the crowbar. You mean the crowbar I broke earlier while breaking into the black snack machine? Mm, didn't I tell you that crime never pays? I remember you standing lookout for me while I broke into it. I did not. Okay, this isn't getting us anywhere. True. So, we're stuck? Seriously, we're stuck. There's just council chamber and... Nothing. Hmm. So, is there something I have to use? I can use that, apparently. I could imagine that this vote. Oh right, I get it. Oh, this vote is getting more boring by the minute. 
I'll just going to use a stage hook to knock the boulder off momentum. so it can crash open into the door. <laughs> Is that it? As if. Hey, oh, what's going on here? That doesn't look good at. <laughs> That was a bad sound. What the hell is he doing over there? Nice one, Zaville. Really nice. Oh, 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 th that was an unpleasant experience. I wonder what caused that boulder to start rolling. And the door to the council chamber is damaged now, too. <laughs> well, this was fun. But the stage hook broke. Oh, well, it sure did the job. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. No longer stuck. Uh, anything new? Doesn't seem so. So let's just run out and talk to uh, our good friend the merchant. Because he apparently moved. After oh, Ambrosius is back. Oh, I'm going to avoid him for as long as possible. Good fairy. Sweet. Oh. Why did I have to throw that tomato? Maybe by now it would have oh, been a rotten tomato. <laughs> the good fairy standing in the pillory. What a sight to see. Seville, sometimes your viciousness is really offensive. Yo, thanks for the compliment. <sighs> Let's see. Let's uh, go to him again. Choyo, that's it. Thanks to El Choyo's travel agency, you too can sunbathe in the endless desert of doom. The scary thing is, I can actually believe that there are people who really El book Choyo these offers trips. the finest trips to the most exotic the desert of doom. Would that be the the villain's ambassador's location or something? Because I get the feeling it's going to be something like that, isn't it? Book your trip to the frozen glacier mountains. Here it says something about twenty-five percent. I wonder if that's a discount on the price. No, no, no. The percentage is shown on El Choyo's sign indicate participant survival rates. Ah. Well, at least you can say it's a completely new marketing strategy to help sell adventure tours to the tired of living. <laughs> true, true. Take the green paint. Very well. Let's do that. Let's look at the other advertisements. Visit the boring land of nothing doing. Guaranteed, no excitement, and absolutely nothing to do. I must say, these advertisements really okay, do how to make a trip on of Yeah, not too, not too much of a advertisement company, but let's uh, talk to Choyo. Buenos dias, on a clientele. El Choyo offers the finest stores to the most exotic places you could ever imagine. Have you, God, have you had your lunch have yet? Have you had lunch yet? No, some dastardly villain stole El Choyo's beloved cheese. Why do you ask? Oh, just a question. Yeah, know nothing about that at all. Yeah, so why is your stand over Hello? here? Hello, why is your stand over here now? Oh, business was very bad for El Choyo over there. Besides, that was a bad part of town. Someone even stole El Choyo's lunch. So, El Choyo tried to sell his goods here now. Okay. I guess that's just an excuse so we don't... So we can't even go to the prison anymore. That's what I'm thinking. Uh... Yeah. What goods are you selling now? Ah, what low quality goods are you trying to sell now? Ah, El Choyo now sells stores with Dr. C's travel agency. Thanks to El Choyo, you can now visit all those strange and exotic places you always wanted to see. We're looking for a genie. <laughs> uh, sure. We're looking for a genie. We heard he booked a holiday here. Do you know more about that? <clears throat> ah, of course. He booked one of Dr. C's best tours. I heard that as a head of union, he didn't have to pay. What was his destination? He booked a tour to the far-off holiday oasis, where he wanted to let the sun shine down on his lamp. Ah, sun. It reminds El Choyo of distant Stanianis. Hmm, so what kind of tours so do you sell? what kind of tours do you sell? Excellent question, little senorita. 
El Choyo offers the best stores in all Ferianis. I you can get bit by the giant the mosquitoes in the swamp the of way. terror or face the avalanches on Mount Neverbest. Or you can head out to endure the unbearable heat in the endless deserts of doom or wander by the power of the never-ending storms in the metal mountains. And of course, the tropical shower forests with their poisonous snakes are always worth a visit. Or there's Dr. C's classic descent to Under Mountain, where you can experience a myriad of deadly traps. Has anyone ever told you that you are a truly rotten salesman? I think he's awesome, to be honest. Um, do I really want to go on a trip already? We can't waste. I'm just, uh, I guess he'll actually send us off, but... I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything over uh, at the theater here. Oh god, what the hell. What did I walk into now? <laughs>